So for me, I didn't have my planned birth, I didn't have my water birth, but I had a beautiful birth, I had a successful birth, and I had an amazing hypno hypnobirthing birth. I used my cloak of protection. Initially, I didn't actually have any need to use it, but more towards the end of the pregnancy, I used it a lot and found it an extremely valuable resource to pull from. And even now, I still use it. So if just in general day-to-day um, -day life, I actually find um, the cloak of protection a really useful tool to have. If midwives were witnessing positive hypnobirthing births and they felt more positive about birth, the stories midwives would tell would also be more positive. And it's a whole cycle that would move towards the, um, the fear that is, surrounds birth um, to stop and hypnobirthing um, is a way for this to happen. The births are more positive, you feel more positive afterwards um, and this can only help. As a midwife I firmly believe that all women having babies should be hypnobirthing if they wish to do so and their babies should be hit little hypnobirthing babies. This is Anya, this is the beautiful hypnobirthing baby number two that I've had and we love her very much, but she's very bouncy, very wiggly, and she's going to go to her daddy. So say bye-bye. Say, I'm a hypnobirthing baby. Woo! <laughs>